Hi friends! Today I'm here for my TBR takedown for the month of October. I asked in last month's takedown about changing the way that I'm doing the TBR takedown. Originally it was me trying to get 113 books off the T- no, getting down to 113 books on my TBR. See, I don't even remember at this point. But I changed things up and with the help of you guys helping me decide, I have chosen to go ahead and scrap all of the original numbers and start off with a fresh new number. To be fair, I started the year with 240 books on my TBR shelves, so I do know that at least. Right now, I don't know how many books I've purchased this year. I will have to figure that number out later. But my starting number for this month with what I have right now that is unread is 184. So I've at least read 56 books this year. I've read more than that, but I've at least read 56 doing that math in my brain. So we're going to start with the number of 184. And essentially the TBR takedown is now just going to be kind of like a balancing the books type deal. Just taking the number from 184 to wherever we can get it to. Spoiler alert, it's going to go up this month. So my purchases for the month, I bought 15 books this month. 15. One, five. 15 books this month, which is ridiculous, but also what I chose to do. For the majority of these, I did a book outlet haul because I did buy most of them from book outlet. So 13 of these, you can check out my book outlet haul. I'll link in the description box below as well as in the cards. And you can check that out if you want more descriptions of them. But the other two, one was a new release and one was a new release last month, but I just got it this month. So we'll start out with those two and then we'll go to the 13 from book outlet. So the first that was a new release is The Mortal Instruments Graphic Novels Volume 3. And the story is by Cassandra Clare. The art is by Cassandra Jean. I already read the first two of these. And so obviously I wanted to get this one. This follows the first half of City of Ashes, which is the second Mortal Instruments book. Very confusing. So many books in that world that it's just hard to keep track. That's what this is. And it's, you know. Cassandra Jean's art and no idea what page I just opened to. Interesting page. Okay. <laughs> and then the other new release is Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco. I actually filmed a unboxing of this but I haven't posted it yet. I have the unboxing filmed obviously because I have the book and that was supposed to be uploaded this week but I haven't edited it edited it yet so that needs to get done. I hope to have that for you very soon because there were a lot of really cool things in that box and I really want to share it with you all. Capturing the Devil by Carrie Mascalco. This is the fourth and final book in the Stocking Jack the Ripper series. Um, I love the series. I haven't read this yet but I'm sure I'm gonna love it. And next we'll get into the 13 books from Book Outlet. Again check out the Book Outlet haul if you want to know what any of these are about. First I have A Study in Charlotte and The Last of August by Brittany Cavallaro. And these are uh, part of like a Sherlock and Watson retelling. There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. Tales of the Slayer, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo. Timekeeper and Chainbreaker by Tara Sim. A Madness So Discreet by Mindy McGinnis. Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman, Ash Princess and Lady Smoke by Laura Sebastian, Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson, and The Final Girls by Riley Sager. So like I said, I started with 184. That takes us to 199. Almost 200, but not quite. But I did also read a few books this month, so let's talk about those as well. I will not be giving a full review of these. That will be in my wrap-up, and you can find that in the description box below as well as in the cards. I will link my wrap-up. I'm just gonna go over these fairly quickly. I did read the Mortal Instruments, the graphic novel, volume three, that one we've already talked about. There's something out there, which is book five of the Creepover series by PJ Knight, Lock Every Door by Riley Sager, and also Resurrection Girls by Ava Morgan. I had zero unhauls this month. I'm taking into account that the Resurrection Girls was an arc, so I don't actually own that, so that doesn't actually come off my shelf. It's 199, take away three, 196. So our new unread total of my shelves is 196. Holy cannoli, are you ready to die yet? It's still better than the 240 though. Like you have to look at it optimistically. Like, it's still better than 240, right? Like, that's a good thing. We can live with that. Wait, I can live with that? Can you live with that? Okay. So my new number is 196 and I hope you will join me on this new journey of getting my total whole way down. Ideally, I would like to keep my TBR under 50. I think that seems reasonable. Like grand scheme, under 20 would be amazing. But I feel like considering I read like 60 books a year that having it under 20 is like not enough. I feel like I would feel pressured to like not have... 
feel like 50 is a good number. I want to keep it under 50, which means I need to read 150 books and not buy any more. Spoiler alert, this is in the middle of November and I've already bought books for November. That's not working out real well. Let me know in the comments below if you have read any of these books, if you enjoyed them, how you felt about them, and let me know if there's anything that you absolutely loved so that I know that I need to prioritize it on the 200 book scale. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content. If you haven't noticed, I rebranded, I added the planners, that's right, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends. So if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!